In this presentation, we will learn about clinical thermometer. Clinical thermometer is used to measure the temperature of a human body and uh, it is therefore used at home in clinics and at hospitals to measure the human body temperature. And it is generally called as Fahrenheit clinical thermometer because temperature of human body is expressed in Fahrenheit scale because it is more uh, specific or uh, you can uh, have a more sensitivity when the temperature is expressed in Fahrenheit compared to Celsius. So, we use Fahrenheit scale to express the temperature of human body. So, clinical thermometer is also referred as Fahrenheit clinical thermometer. Let us learn about its structure that is the construction of a thermometer. All thermometers have a very hard glass cover. It has a very hard glass right which encloses which has inside a capillary tube a thin capillary tube a very thin bore which has a very thin hollow space so it is called as capillary tube and one end of the capillary tube there is a bulb so this is the bulb as you see right so the thermometer the glass tube is sealed at both the ends the bulb and the part of the capillary tube is filled with mercury or with alcohol right as you see here and there is a kink or a bend kink k i n k which is also referred as constriction so learn the spelling of constriction properly so the bend above the bulb prevents this is called the constriction so it prevents the mercury falling back to the bulb after removing it from the patient's tongue that is while measuring the temperature we usually place the bulb of the thermometer gently under the patient's tongue right so but while reading it after two uh, minutes what we'll do we'll just remove it from the patient's tongue and we'll read the temperature so while doing it so there is a possibility for the liquid to go back to the bulb fall back to the bulb so to prevent it there is a kink or a bend just above the bulb so this is a special characteristic that is present only in clinical thermometer because it is red the temperature is red by removing it from the patient's tongue right so it is graduated between the range of 35 to 42 degrees celsius and in fahrenheit scale it is 94 to 108 so i'll just write here it is 94 to 108 degree fahrenheit because the purpose of the clinical thermometer is just to measure the body temperature and we know that the normal body temperature is 36.9 degree celsius or 98.4 degree fahrenheit since the normal body temperature is between this 90 i mean 98.4 plus or minus 0 0.2 is allowed 0 0.2 to 3 is allowed since the purpose of body i mean a clinical thermometer is to measure the body temperature it is graduated between 94 to 108 degree fahrenheit right so the clinical thermometer is liquid in glass thermometer and it has a constriction only clinical thermometer will have a bend just above the bulb to prevent the backflow of mercury right and it is gently placed under the patient's tongue or sometimes under the armpit right now we will learn how to read the scale correctly so as you see here it is graduated both in celsius and fahrenheit scale but as i told you fahrenheit is a usual way of expressing the body temperature because of it more sensitivity now here it measures 98.6 degree fahrenheit so let us learn in detail in the next slide so as you see here the above the top scale we have the celsius graduation whereas in the, uh, under that we have the fahrenheit uh, graduation so it is 94 here it is 96 here it is 98 and 100 and the mercury is here uh, between 98 to 100 which is denoted by the upward red color arrow as you see i am as i'm showing you here right now let us learn how to read it correctly so 98 is here and 100 is here so 100 minus 98 is 2 degree fahrenheit right and it is this 2 degree fahrenheit 98 100 has 10 divisions in between how many small divisions small lines are there 10 9 is there actually but to divisions if you count there are 10 total divisions between 98 to 100 or between any uh, scale here which is marked 94 to 96 is 2 degree Fahrenheit 96 to 98 again with 2 degree Fahrenheit right so now each division is 
how much let us learn so 2 degree fahrenheit is divided into 10 divisions so 2 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.2 so you should learn how to read it correctly so each small subdivision is 0.2 degree fahrenheit right so now let us read it correctly so here it is 98 so this is 98.2 again plus 0.2 98.4 and now the red arrow denotes 98.6 so the thermometer measures 98.6 degree Fahrenheit which is actually the normal body temperature so the person is not having any fever. So if a person has any sickness that is if there is an infection there will be an increase in body temperature which is actually a symptom of a disease right. So if there is an increase in the human body temperature which denotes actually it tells you that there is some in kind of infection that has entered our body. So this a thermometer which is denoted in this image measures 98.6 degree Fahrenheit right now learn the construction of clinical thermometer so they will ask you what is the purpose of construction in clinical thermometer and what is the range of scale for a clinical thermometer and what is the normal body temperature it is 36.9 degree Celsius or 98.4 degree Fahrenheit. So, learn the construction of clinical thermometer which is a very important detail answer and you will also be expected to draw the diagram and label the path. So, please note down carefully. Thank you.